Peace wise, that's penny wise. Does that mean that they were good with money? Whoa, whoa, wait. I'm talking about peace wise defined functions. Let's get your mind on math, people. Yes. A peace wise defined function is a function that has several different pieces. Okay. What separates these pieces? The on and off switches over here. This, 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 this. Are we in a club? No. Okay. Um, this tells us which piece we're going to use when our input values are different. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I want to I want to evaluate this particular piecewise function when x is bigger than three. Okay, x. Okay, uh, that's gonna tell me which piece I'm in. Um, am I here? No. Why? Because these are the ones that are less than two. Am I here? No. These are the ones that are in between minus two and two. I am here. Why? Because my x's are bigger than three. That means use this one. And then here we go. Uh huh. So what's my x gonna be? It's gonna be three. So minus. My x is three, uh -huh. plus that four, sure, finish him. It's one, fun. So then what can I say? I can say f of three is one. I'm down here, yes, zero. Which piece am I in? Up here, oh no, I'm not less than two. I'm not bigger than two. I'm in between those two. Use this one, yes. So that says everywhere we see an x up there, oh, I'm gonna put a zero, big fat zero. Okay, yes. So then here I got zero, and then what? I have f of zero is zero. Yes, I'm down here. F of minus one. Oh no! Which piece you gonna use? I'm coming back up here. Where's minus one? Is it here? No. Here? Yes. Why? Because minus one is in between minus one and two. That says I'm gonna use this middle piece. Very nice. Okay, if I'm using this middle piece, that says everywhere I see an X, I'm gonna put a minus one. So this is minus one. So then, um, yeah, yeah, um, um, I don't know what that is. Um, F of minus one is a minus one. Very nice. And you get points on your piece wise. What if I wanted to draw this? Graph it, graph it. Uh huh. Okay, so then when X is less than minus two, that's all of these guys. Okay, for all of these x values, the function's gonna behave like that. So here we go. That's linear, isn't it? It tells you where to start, tells you where to go. Yes. So then we could plot a few points. What is it at minus two? Minus and minus two, that puts it at minus two, right there. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I know I have a point, I can perform the slope. This says go down one, right two, or up one, left two. So then from here, I go up one, left two. Ah, uh, yes, we're graphing lines here. So on this piece, I'm gonna be between, that's that one. And then it owns the end piece. That's a closed dot. Okay, let's graph the next piece. This is um x, yeah, the identity. That says x is equal to y everywhere in there. So yes, that's gonna put me here. I'll do this one in blue. Um, the origin is there, minus one is there, one is there, and two is almost there because it doesn't own the end, because it doesn't own the end point. So it doesn't own that one either. So it looks like that piece, our blue piece, between minus two and positive two on our x value, our function is gonna be that blue one. Let's take a look at this last one down here. When my x's are bigger than two, I'll do it in yellow. Uh-huh, yes. All of these x's, it's gonna, it's gonna do this. Okay, let's see what it is at that end point. At two, that's a minus two, it's gonna be a positive. Oh man, looks like this was pre-planned. It owns that end piece. And then I go down one, over one, down one, over one, put a dot. Down one, over one, put a dot. And then it's gonna continue on like that forever. Okay, so there's a picture of my piecewise defined function. Look at that. Because I can draw it without picking up my pen, this is piecewise continuous. And you're done! 
What could that be? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But I think this last problem was edgy.